called Sham Johnson, aka Sulfur Blade, and I am back here with Rising Star 2. Um, we've had some, well, I've had some pretty interesting things happen here recently. So, we got a new record contract. And let's see if I can, uh, no, where would that be? Okay, the contract is with False Roof Records. And uh, they gave me expenses in the tune of $52,500. So uh, part of that is advertising, and part of that was forwarded to me for doing the recordings. Um, I need to uh, release one record that has uh, at least 10 songs, and that record needs to have three songs of 50 or higher quality. And I can finally, I can fu finally fulfill those uh, those terms. So as you can see, as I was looking at before, I now have three songs over fifty quality. They are Red Solo Cup, which is a uh, partying uh, attitude, a basic musicianship, high energy song. And then I got I'd Get Down on My Knees for You, which is a basic musicianship love song. And it must have been love, which is uh, a low energy basic musicianship song. So uh, one high energy, one low energy, one medium energy, and two about love, one about partying all above 50 quality. This is what I'm going to base uh, the record around. I've already started uh, recording some songs for my new CD. Uh, granted, I need these to be at least 40 uh, quality in recording. I, I don't think it matters if the other uh, filler songs are lower quality. Um, so yeah, I can I can do these for basically well next to free, uh, whatever the charge is for for using the sound booth to record them at like twenty dollars an hour or something. So I guess I'll continue to put the filler in this way, and I'll go to a higher quality studio for the three that need to be higher quality. Um, so yeah, that's where we are there. Uh, also, I recently won a, well, I haven't put it up yet. I recently won a Battle of the Bands, which that would be under here, at Heartless Coal in Madison, Wisconsin. So we'll go ahead and try to put this properly on the wall where we want it to be. Doesn't quite look right. All right, that looks better. Kind of an even. Yeah. Okay, so all of them are a little bit off this way from center, but they've got an even gap here, so I'm happy with it. Uh, I wish the game. I wish I could paint the walls. I wish I could clean up the mess. I wish I could do the dishes and pick up all the red solo cups scattered around the place, etc. And my cat needs to me needs me, the human being, to open a door. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. So now we should be all caught up to uh, what's been happening in the band. Uh, I think it's time to, well, first we'll check and see if Heidi needs to do any repairs. I'm trying to not repair all the time. I'm trying to wait till things are at least 10 plus condition um, because when you repair, you tend to take some points off of their max condition. So if you're repairing really, really frequently, which this may still be too frequent, to be honest, um, you're just 
making it so you have to go get this equipment refurbished faster. Six of ninety eight, yeah. All right, that's good for now. And so yeah, I'm going to practice those three straight away. Uh, maybe I should do them one at a time. I wonder which way is actually technically faster. If I do them... Well, let's do the math. So... Uh, one is starting at 27, one is starting at 24, and the other is starting at 23. And if I put them all three and start practice, oh well, I was looking at difficulty for some reason, but they all gained eight, which is simple enough. Okay, so eight, eight, eight is a total of what, 24 points across three? I think it's going to be faster this way. Now if I were to go straight into, say, Red Solo Cup alone, um, if 24 points go into 8, that would be what, uh, 8 to 42? <clears throat> Thirty-two. No. Yeah, thirty-two. Twenty-four points plus eight. Twenty-four plus eight is thirty-two. Wow. When you get old, simple things like math start to become, I don't know, fuzzier than they used to be. It used to be everything was so just real quick. And then at some point, you start to start second-guessing yourself on basic things like simple math. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we have a cemetery to to cut. Um, also, I have uh, I'm gonna stop bo booking some uh, gigs here, as I'm gonna want more free time to work on putting the record together. Which means I've actually told my manager he can he can book venues now as low as 200, which should put a couple of the uh, the clubs in the various cities uh, plus the theaters. So I'll just let him book those instead of me booking them because if I book them, they all get booked and it's guaranteed it's going to happen. Where. He's just kind of, uh, sometimes he books some stuff, and that's good enough for right now because I want to concentrate on, on the recording stuff. So if I have some extra days in which I can practice songs and do recording, that's fine by me. Just gonna jump into practice here. Now, what we're looking for is we're looking to get to 32-ish uh, with Red Solo Cup. If we don't get as high as 32, if we get like you know 30 or 28 or something, it's it's probably worth it to just do it evenly, as you're getting more points across the board. So here we go. Let's see. <clears throat> Thirty-two exactly. So it's pretty much the exact same. I can either rush one song or do them all simultaneously. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, what happens if you do two? So half of 32 is what, 16? 16 and 16 is yeah, 32. So um, 16 onto 32 would be 8, 48. So this, this one should become 48, and this one should become, what, 24? So we'll see if it follows the same trend like that. And do I have, yeah, I have more. More lawn cutting to do. And you guys are probably like, dude, why are you cutting lawn for 250 bucks a pop? You've got 83,000 in the bank. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm, I'm a cheapskate. You know, all, all, all money matters. And then you're like, well, why aren't you booking your own gigs? I'm like, well, that's a good point. I don't know. I like cutting the lawn. It's just, it's my thing. It's my jam. It's my inspiration. we're looking for 48 and what uh, 24 let's go okay we got a gig in Milwaukee we gotta go to ah look we didn't get as high as we thought we would hi James it's mile lens I've been working on booking local kids for you okay uh, great this looks like a great booking. I'm all for playing at a theater. Um, this is March 30th. Chicago. I haven't played in Chicago before. Um, it's interesting, but no, I don't want it. Okay. <clears throat> so we just found that doing two is less productive than doing one or doing three. That's very interesting. So doing three at a time gives you the same amount of points as doing one at a time, but doing two at a time gives you less points. Very interesting. Uh, anyway, we're going to throw that one on next time around. And we need to go to Milwaukee, it said? I believe so. Thank you. Right. 12 song set. That one looks fine. Go ahead and start the gig.
Alright, the gig's over. We're at 100% audience interest level. So overall, the audience went crazy over your performance. The band's stage present blew away the crowd. It was a slow night at a merchandise counter. Sold two t-shirts. Got some reputation with the bar. We got some happiness and inspiration. A little bit of relationship with some other bands. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, Sam gained a level. Alright. One in playing, one in stage presence. Uh, one in business. Yeah, we'll go playing and stage presence again. <clears throat> Back to Green Bay. And we have a gig today at the political stop. You'll have me cutting a rug in no time. Of course we will. Twelve. We'll just stick with the one we've been using. It does fine. Back we might speed it up a little bit. Results, 450 sold out, audience went crazy, slow night at the merchandise counter. So three copies of the Orgy and 37 shirts. Alright, I'm happy with that. And it's time to head home. Practicing. Anything going on here now? Okay, go ahead and practice. Okay, we have a gig in Madison. Cliff Ruble Theater. Hey James, what's happening? This is Amber Yamada from the band The Thoughtful Division. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for a gig we can play together soon. See you later. Yep, no problem there, Amber. Really? Hey James, how's it going? This is Brent Hibbert from the band Farms in the summer. 
We have a gig coming up that we thought you might be interested in playing with us. Well, maybe, Brent. What is it? Um, Ella's Watering Hole in Madison. So it's a small gig, um, small pay, small venue. Uh, I appreciate the offer, but I, I have other things I need to focus on right now. <clears throat> okay, no problem. Alright, six songs set. Um, is that still a category that's... Are we still on Christianity? We are. Okay, so go ahead and get it going, I think. Yeah. Some of this choreography is really bad. Like, yeah, really bad. Some of the choreography is really bad. <clears throat> okay, so we got up to 53%. That's not too bad. The audience was extremely happy with your performance. It was a slow night at the merchandise counter. Dr. Feelgood's popularity went up. We sold out of shirts. Okay, we need to buy some shirts. Uh, sold 12 copies of the Orgy. Okay, all good. theater. We're busy. Okay, Dean's printing. Now give me those shirts. 500 more, please. And let's uh, check on our CDs as well. And we're playing with Black Doubts and Thoughtless Library. A nine set. Okay. Um, Angel Rock, Holy Ghost. I'm just going to leave it like this. Yeah, some of that choreography is really bad. 
Like that looks very feminine. Right, Dr. Feel Good, take it home. Sixty-nine percent. Not too bad. Audience was extremely happy with your performance. Dr. Feelgood gains in popularity. Sold fifty-one copies of the orgy. Sold four hundred and four shirts. Four hundred and four on one day. Wow. I think that's my best shirt day ever. Now I have to go buy more shirts. Oh, and uh, Heidi's leveled. All right, Heidi. Uh, stage presence, stage presence. Um, or stage presence. Another writing. <clears throat> I need to remember to buy shirts. Also, with all this inspiration, I should probably check to see if I can write a good song. Um, so that's the course going to fill up time I want to be practicing. Fifty ideas. That's a lot of ideas. A difficulty one twenty-three. Very nice. Um, and you match up into that guy, all right. Okay. And you match into... Well, do we have any... Oh, that's difficulty 20. At plus 11, that's going to take us into 30s. It's higher than I want. Okay, what do we got for lyrics? I mean, now that I have some 50 songs, I want to, like, push it even higher, but, uh, I don't know. 53 is high enough, right? Yeah. All right. I love songs. A love song. How about... I'm looking for inspiration here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I like it. Okay, so you're still the second. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it's clever. Okay, you're still the second. Is up tempo or medium tempo? I think you're still the second is going to be an up tempo love song. Why not? Mike, what's going on? I've been working on booking local gigs for you. Okay, what have you got? The Cliff Ruble Theater. Another theater gig. Um, when? Monday, April 9th? Sure. Yeah, I can't pass up a theater gig. Um, political snow. When? March 31st. 
Um, for only four ninety five, the political snow. I normally get thirteen hundred for the political snow. Sorry, not doing it. Um, fascinating observation. Six song flat pay all the way in Chicago. Nope, not doing that one either. Uh, you got it. I'll continue looking for local gigs. Yep, no problem. <clears throat> and I need to save pieces. Uh, three difficulty ten. That's worth saving. Eighteen's a bit high. Sixteen's a bit high. Fifteen love. Yeah, definitely banking that one. What do we got down in melodies? 21, 10, 4 on 10. 4 on 10 ain't so bad. <laughs> the 27 difficulty one. Yeah, I'll, I'll bank that one. For now, we'll bank that riff piece. So it's it's not as simple as just taking the, the, the biggest pieces. Like for example, there's an 18 down here, but it's got a difficulty of 20. Which isn't actually that bad because 18 and 20 are nearly the same amount. So I prefer to have my difficulty under my quality so on an 18 piece i would like to have it nine or less difficulty but it's if it's even difficulty it can still turn out okay as long as you can get the other two pieces underneath to shave off some of it uh like here's a 12 that has 11 of difficulty it's, it's nearly even uh, but, you know, 5 is dramatically under, 12 is a little bit under 15, 3 is a lot under 10. So, yeah, I, I prefer to get as far under the number as I can. Alright, I feel like we've got stuff banked. Now let's get back to practicing. Yeah, what I was afraid of. It's hard to keep up with everything I got right now. These I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm not going to worry about you're still the one at this point. Really? Political snow? No. No. That's not cool, man. You don't want to play local gigs? Then fine. But I'll continue looking for local gigs until I'm otherwise instructed otherwise. Yeah, that's fine. Didn't I tell you to keep it up to above 200? I did. So why are you giving me a, a 50 capacity gig in Chicago? Yeah, I don't quite understand that. Here, let's uh bump this up. I don't know, like 350. All right, we'll focus on these three. Um, today we don't have anything going on. No park to mow. Go ahead and get our practice in. You have a gig in Milwaukee, Wisconsin today. You must start driving there. Da-da-da-da-da. 
450 political snow haven't I turned down this exact same one three days in a row now w what part of I didn't want it the first two times did you not understand yes I know it's within what I'm asking for but it's not find me an opening at political snow <clears throat> not an opening as a, a headline band at political snow I don't want to be opening for somebody at political snow and son of a bitch it's a 350 capacity venue that's only paying me 58 in Chicago no I don't want this gig <clears throat> that's not cool man it's the same shit you gave me yesterday <clears throat> You know what? I just want to do theaters. Oh, and I need shirts. All right. Well, I'm thinking about it. Let's just get the flock out of here and go grab some shirts. Fixing to go up on stage? Yes, ma'am. Right, 12 songs set. Done, leveled up. 
All right, Don, let's uh, put a few more into your lyrics. And get more in your playing. Where am I going? I'm driving completely around the block, ain't I? Yes, I am. Just doing circles. Hey, I'm so looking forward to seeing your show tonight. Yeah, I am too. Alright, start the keg. Here goes Big Johnson. And ultra fast. Naomi Theater, huh? April 17th. Alright. Green Bay Theater, April 24th. Okay. Alright, let's uh check on the repairs. Sixty-nine of eighty-four, that one. Seventy-four eighty-six, yeah. That's fine. Used up for things. Let's get over to practice. James.
let's do some repairs. Didn't I already do this? Okay. getting kind of difficult to keep up with these songs. So every seven days, if you don't practice a song, the song will start to, 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 to uh, deteriorate, from what I understand. Cemetery needs to be taken care of. That takes pri priority over everything. We gotta make sure that the the cemetery is mowed. Getting closer. All right, we're going to go record Red Solo Cup. Actually, let's leave these two highlighted. And maybe highlight that one. Okay, I need a recording place that is a little bit better than the one I've been using. Let's see, what does Jager cost? Jager is $99 an hour. Okay. What's the one around the corner, Todd's? Todd's is 60. I think Todd's is probably the right one. Um, Red Solo Cup. Yeah, 
mean, we could try to skimp on the money and go at like a 50% if I could manage to actually slide this to that spot. <laughs> really? Huh. All right. Um, let's think about this. It's not like I don't have the money to do this. I was given like quite a bit of money. Um, I wonder what effect recording quality has. Ah, uh, let's just go max. Alright, Miles, what do you want? Local gigs? I couldn't find any? That's fine. Troy. Um, your production's fine right now. We need to get your. So yeah, there's the f um, ICD, simple CD, love to party, red solo cup, will be add to that one. So we've got four of the 10 songs needed. I wonder if this being the contract said I that the three songs needed to be recording quality 40 didn't say anything about the fluff songs being recording quality 40 but here it makes it look like the, the fluff songs need to be 40 uh, well we'll see what happens it's part of learning I suppose right Six new ideas. A ten at seventeen isn't too horrible. That would fit into this one pretty nicely. Partying is being frowned on right now. Well, that's great. Uh, basic musicians of nature and education. Well, I'm a party group, guys. This isn't going to be a good, good time for me. Um, this 13 fits nicely there. And that would get me... Eh, maybe not.
I'll ditch that one. I want to pick up that one. Any of these other pieces that 11 love is not horrible. It would be nice to have, but 13.5. I'll go to 13.3. Um, seeing some of these pieces go to waste. Can I make a, I don't know, a halfway decent song out of these pieces that I can just have sit for now? Probably. Difficulty 30, that's nuts. Difficulty 1, that's far better. Um, that might be the way I'm Gonna go with this. Yeah, it's looking like it is. That one plus this one. 30 song quality isn't horrible. And it uses up those pieces so they don't feel like they're going to waste. Yeah, it's a partying song, but I'm not really gonna practice it right now anyway. Maybe someday partying will be the, the in thing. Alright, let's finish writing this song. Oh, title, right. Um, How about, my head hurts, <clears throat> and that'll be an up-tempo song, why not? Any repairs need to be done right now? No. Nothing needs to be cut. Practice. No, we're not going to work on my head hurts right now. Wow. I feel like I'm playing a game of whack-a-mole sometimes.
So it must have been love is ready to go. Let's go record it. No, Don, we're not going clubbing tonight. I know you want to, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna drive around the block and head over to to Todd's studio here. And record it must have been love. Any? That's fine. Loved party. So, Red Solo Cup is about partying. Love is. That's a love song. That's a love song. American Thighs is, I think, sex based. Um. It's too bad Red Solo Cup is going to be releasing on the Love to Party CD in the middle of Partying's Bad. <laughs> oh, the timing on this. <clears throat> I mean, unless I just... I mean, I don't... I could make a completely different CD right now and and put the party songs on this one and wait to release this one for down the road. Maybe that makes sense. The more I'm thinking about it, the more it's starting to make sense. Um So if I take it must have been love off of here. And all of those. And we'll leave Red Solo Cup on it because Red Solo Cup is a party song. Well, then that's one of my 50 quality songs. Well, I, I have another 50 quality song, don't I? That's not party related. I do. Okay. It's making sense in my mind. It is. Okay. All right, so the new CD. It's going to be. <sighs> Love and sex. You know what? I think that's the name of it. <clears throat> Love and sex. <clears throat> All right, we're going to need a new cover. Okay, track list. Must have been love. 
Open fights, open escalator, American thighs. need to be done? No. Practice, practice, practice. So this 50 quality song, you're still the second, is a love based song. So that's going to be the other song. All right. Party of 39 is partying best. That'll have to go on the party CD that we're not going to release yet. Okay. Alright, we have a gig in Madison. And on the way there, we will stop by the the print shop actually on the way to the print shop we'll stop by the photography shop where is the photography shop photography shops oh it's right next to my house how did I miss it probably drove right past it as I was saying we're gonna go to the photography shop yeah all right Blake um Where's my uh, photo album? Can I somehow replicate this one? Mm, no, I don't think so. So I just have to make a whole new one. Uh, fine. Fine, fine. We'll do that. Uh, probably needs something different than brick wall. Sure. Uh, Troy, go to, I don't know, seven, nine. Hmm. 
Boom. Yeah. Yeah, sort of. It's all right. All right. Stop making that weird motion. Uh, stance. bit of edge distortion and yeah that'll work good enough <clears throat> she won't be able to finish the uh, yes Okay, now we're going to go from the photography spot. And yeah, I didn't have to do this right now, obviously. Um, I could have done this at any point in time. But I kind of wanted to do this on camera as it shows off some features of the game that you may or may not have seen yet. Um, and that is, how do you make a CD cover? So, Big Johnson, we're going to change the font on that to our classic stereotypical Big Johnson font, just like that. And then we're going to change the size on to somewhere around there. We're going to rotate it to something about like that. We're going to go up towards the top, and we're going to bring it over into the corner-ish, like so. And then we're going to change the element color. No, not the background color. Go something like that for now. Element color we're we running. Yes, that's Big Johnson gold. Um, now we are going to add a graphic or add photo. Add photo. Which is this one. 
Um, shrink the size down to something like that. Then move it over this way. Maybe. Something like, like that. Add text. <clears throat> what is the name of the CD going to be? Um, love and sex, sex and love, love and sex, love and sex. I think that's what I call it. Love and sex, right? Not sex and love. One line, um, smaller size, obviously, down to the bottom, change the font, kind of like that one, change the color. Okay, change the background color. Let's go back to the photo. I'm going to move it a little bit up. Just a tiny tad, like so. And how does color blend take a little bit of color blend here? Yeah. And there we are. We have a new CD cover for the other CD. The one we're going to actually be publishing. So buy this CD cover. Yeah. Now we're off to do our gig. And then we'll probably wrap up this episode after the gig. Um, yeah, sounds about right. Today you have a gig at Cliff Ruble Theater here in Madison. Very good. Let's go with the standard lineup. Oh, it's a six lineup. We are no longer in the Christianity phase. Um, so, Angel Rock and Holy Roller have no real merits to be on here. Let's go by quality. American thigh will go around here. And I love this bar as a partying track. That's not going to work for this. Get it down. Well, play skill is close. Yeah. I'd rather not release it till I have it. Well, hmm.
95 is enough. And I would like to know if this is... Oh, I want that first. And I want that first. I want that first. There we go. Actually, let's take ride the shaft off and put in between the brass up to the top. Holy ghost, you're not, you're still one of the higher ones of the medium variety. Yeah, I'll leave you. All right, let's see how this goes. <clears throat> And I get down on my knees for you is its debut, and it really picked up a lot of interest. That's a good sign. Okay, Whoa! Look at that. I get down on my knees for you just picked up plus four popularity on its debut. We might have ourselves a song, ladies and gentlemen. We might have ourselves a song. Let's see what it says about it. Um, the audience enjoyed this song very much. So that's one of the cues. If they say that they enjoyed the performance, well, they're enjoying your band's uh swagger and its stage performance and the song itself is kind of neutral it doesn't really factor into the fact that they're enjoying the performance but when they straight up say the song they they they, they really mean that they like the song and it's five stars and we know people like dr feelgood which has four stars so i think i'd get down on my knees for you is our breakout hit we've been waiting to come across. Woohoo! So, with that revelation, this is as good a place as any to finish up this episode. Anyway, I am James Johnson. This has been another look at. What the hell's the name of this game? I can never remember the name of it. Um, uh, Rising Star 2. Excellent game. Uh, definitely worth a buy, in my opinion. Uh, I give it three thumbs up. That's how much I like it. Again, I'm James Johnson, a.k.a. Software Blade. This is my content. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And until the next time, all, peace.